Good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, depending upon what time you are listening. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. This time space sequence we call August the 6th, 2019. This is Sean Speaks, and I'll be sharing with you the uh, blog post from freeyourthinkingmind.com that's posted from today entitled The Challenge of the Tribe. Now, this one is this is a tough one, y'all, because, you know, the challenge of the tribe, we all live in tribes to a certain extent, whether it's your your family, your friends, um, your organizational ties, uh, the groups of people that you congregate with um, and that you, you share either the same sort of mindset about things, the same thinking or the same believing patterns. Um, you know, these are your tribes. And, and when you are growing and you're becoming sort of your better version of yourself, part of growing is actually challenging who you were the day before, right? If you want to get to who you want to be tomorrow, you have to challenge who you were the day before. And so our affirmation for today is I challenge my own thinking. I think in order for you to grow into who you want to be tomorrow, into your future self, you have to challenge your own thinking. The problem I think that we run into um, uh, is that when you start to challenge your own thinking, you can in turn uh, start to challenge the thinking of the tribe. You can start to challenge the belief systems of the tribe. You can start to challenge the the behavior systems of the chapter of the tribe, uh, the different habits that the tribe have. You start to challenge those things as you grow into who you are wanting to grow into your future self. So today is a is a is a challenge read for me, um, but uh, but I think that you'll enjoy it. When your tribe is stubborn in its thinking. Is your change worth the challenges? Are you willing to still change when you begin to see that your changes are going to start to challenge some of the things that you have learned from your tribe? The beliefs, mindsets, behaviors, and traditions of your family, friends, and organizational ties shape your thinking voicing dissent in the tribe can be very scary because the tribe can become angry ridicule you and even alienate you and these potential consequences cause most of us to remain silent these potential consequences cause most of us not to challenge our own thinking. Think about that. Have you ever thought something different from your tribe, but the fear of how your tribe will react to you caused you to stop the change in your thinking? You can know something is wrong with what the tribe is doing, what the tribe is believing, what the tribe is engaging in, but yet you participate in the wrong because being different from the tribe is scarier than going against your own good senses. If the tribe says, put your money in this bag, most of us will do so despite seeing the hole in the bag. No matter how long you cover your eyes, bend your neck, cross your fingers, or click your heels, the bag still has a hole in it. Why haven't we been trained to trust our own eyes? Why don't the tribe encourage us to say, hey tribe, this bag has a hole in it, people. Don't put your money in that. But your training in the tribe demand of you to blind your eyes to the truth. Keep your mouth shut 
and follow the traditions, behaviors, and habits taught to you by the tribe. You say you want increase, but your conditioning says put your money in a bag with a hole in it. Your reasoning for doing what goes against your own good senses? Big Mama did it. Mama did it. And Papa did it too. So it must be right. Right? If you can admit that it's really fear that is the driving force of some of your beliefs, some of your habits, some of your thinking patterns, you can objectively determine what needs to be dismantled. What are the fears that cause your unwillingness to evaluate the usefulness of certain behaviors, certain words that you say, pithy sayings or thinking and believing patterns? We can experience the generational results of these fears that result in lack, prejudice, imbalanced power, and mediocrity, but yet we still are very resistant and hesitant to change. But catch this, we don't want to change, but yet we expect a different result. How can you expect a different result in this life if you're unwilling to change? If your tribe refuses or, or prevents you from changing, how does the tribe ever evolve to better? Changing against the tribe's way is very uncomfortable. This change requires you to become uncomfortably comfortable in your own thinking. This advancing mindset can bring you into direct conflict, not only with your own thinking, but with your tribe's generationally inherited or passed down conditioning. You have to start to ask yourself, is your thinking your thinking? Is your believing your believing? Or is your thinking your tribe's thinking? And is your believing your tribe's believing? What happens to your thinking if your thinking changed tomorrow? Is your thinking allowed in the tribe? Are you required to be consistent to your own thinking? Or do you have to dismiss your own good thinking and good senses to align with the tribe's thinking. You advance only when you gain a greater toughness in your own thinking. Thinking like the crowd only makes you a crowd member. Are you willing to admit the truth about what your crowd produces? Is your crowd, is your tribe, giving you the results in the of the in the life in this life that you want are you feeding your life the food that you're wanting to produce in your life see your thoughts words and actions are the food of your life you can't produce prosperity if you feed yourself poverty mind think mindset if you're constantly thinking about being poor and, and you're thinking about things that make you poor, you're not feeding yourself prosperity. You're, you're feeding yourself a poverty mindset. You can't produce excellence feeding mediocre actions. You can't produce equality in your life feeding superior mindsets. You can't produce worthiness in your life feeding inadequacy to yourself. You can't produce unity, feeding division, and you can't produce love, feeding hate. Do you ever challenge your own thinking to the point 
where you have to challenge the mindset of your tribe. Our affirmation for today, I challenge my own thinking. I challenge my own thinking. Thank you so much for listening to the audio broadcast podcast presented to you by freerthinkingmind.com. Please definitely go over to the website and subscribe and share. Please check us out at our podcast at freerthinkingmind.podbean.com and go over to our YouTube channel at FYTM Network. Thank you so much for listening to uh, For Your Thinking Mind. I hope you have a happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Ashe, free thinkers. Ashe. May what you say manifest.